Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. How are you all? I hope you are going good. Today, you will learn amazing things, I must say. We all have learned present indefinite in our school, colleges. But today, I am going to teach you few new concepts. But before this, if you haven't liked my FB page or subscribe my channel, kindly like and subscribe. First question is, what is the usage of present indefinite? You can now, now learn this usage on your finger strip, fingertips. Number one is, we use it for our daily routine. Like how? Now, take the one example. We take lunch daily. We all know that we all take lunch daily. So, it is a part of our daily routine. Number two, habits. We, uh, we use present indefinite to express our habits. For example, Ariba waters plants daily. I read book daily. Number three is the universal fact. Universal fact is like uh, you can't change that statement. For example, the sun rises from the east. You can't change this fact. So, uh, my students learn this usage on your finger tips. Now let's talk about the syntax structure. We will discuss here four types of structures. Number one affirmative, number two is negative, number three interrogative and the fourth one which is the new for you that is the double interrogative. Well I can't say that you don't know this, this before but I think double interrogative word you are listening first time. So let's start from the affirmative. In affirmative, you can see it's a very simple structure. Subject plus verb plus form plus object. Remember one point here that in indefinite, you will always use verb first form. You will never use second or third form. Now the next is a negative. The structure is uh, the structure is same, but you will add do or does plus not. Because you are talking about the negative, so not will come with the helping verb, which is the do or does. Now we will discuss uh, uh, further that where we will where we will use do or does. The third one is interrogative. Interrogative sentence either start with the do or does, and don't forget to put question mark at the end. The fourth one, the new one, double interrogative. In double interrogative, the sentence starts with the WH family. WH family means what, where, which, who, whom. We start uh, our sentence from this. Okay, now let's talk about the difference between interrogative and double interrogative. Remember the uh, one uh, difference. That is the big difference. When I use the interrogative sentence, I, I will answer in either yes or no. But when I will use the sentence of double interrogative, I have to give answer in detail. For example, I ask from you that uh, uh, do you drink milk daily? So what will be your answer? Your answer will be either yes or no. The other uh, sentence, yes, I drink milk. I drink milk is not necessary to say. If you are saying yes, it's your complete answer. If you are saying no, it's your complete answer. But when I talk about the double interrogative, what do you know about her? I'm asking, what do you know about her? So you can't answer either in yes or no. You have to answer in detail. You have to answer in three or four lines then your answer will be complete so this is the one difference you have to learn this I, I i must say most of the people don't know about the double interrogative so now you are learning here new new things new concept and you have to remember this and whenever you go for teaching must uh, must teach this to your students the next is the rule number one in the previous slide I told you about the do and does so now and the other thing uh, which we have to discuss here that the uh, where we will use as ES IES 
दीज आर द टू थिंग्स आई विल टेल यू राइट नाउ इन रूल नंबर वन वी विल डिस्कस वर्क प्लस एस ई एस और आई ई एस वी ऑल नो दैट देर आर सेवन प्रोनाउंस ही शी इट आई दे यू वी वी ऑल नो दिस now where we will use verb with as or es or is or where we will not so here in front of you uh, i have uh, we have two headings number 1 he she it singular subject plus third person just focus on he she it it's so very simple that where uh, we start our sentence with he she it we use a uh, verb with as yes or i yes for example she jumps she jumps focus on my sentence my students she jumps in the swimming pool i am using here she and after that i have used the verb jump and with jump i have put as she jumps but when i use uh, sentence uh, with the uh, sorry they so i will say they jump i will never say that they jumps it's a wrong sentence it's a grammatical mistake they jumps no she he or it jumps now talk about the singular subject and plus third person singular person we can say that a one a person one person only single person like he she it we are talking about one person so as like that singular subject we can use uh, a name uh, and in the place of the he she it like in place of he i can use the name ahmed ahmed ju- jumps in the swimming pool so ahmed here is a singular subject but why i have uh, uh, write written here the third person just because if you if one confusion is not arising in your mind so i can tell you uh, have you noticed that uh, i have um, uh, written i in the second heading why i is a singular i is not a group of people so why we are not using um, i uh, with i why we are not using verb plus as es or ies so this is the rule you have to remember the rule is that we put verb plus as es ies only with the singular subject with which is also the third person i is not a third person i is not a third person okay the second uh, heading is verb plus no as no es no ies this will be possible when we use they you we i or plural subject now uh, focus on the plural subject plural subject like we can say uh, we can take two names ahmed and ali we can take this example ahmed and ali if i am only taking ahmed so after that i will put s in the verb but if i am taking two names group of the people i will never use uh, s e s or i e s so remember this and further we will discuss in detail in the coming examples rule number 2 do and does where we will put do where we will use does so do we will use with they you we i and with plural subject plural subject means in group not a single person and does we will use with singular plus third person why because i is also the singular person but we cannot put does with the i i uh, i does not it's a wrong sentence uh, with i we will use only am i am not i am we will use this but, but yes we can use do not with i i do not like this this is also the sentence okay i hope you are clear here next now the uh, let's discuss the examples affirmative examples she speaks truth you can uh, uh, see here that uh, in verb i have written as why we all have discussed that we will use she he it singular noun singular word sorry singular subject 
plus third person we we, we will put as yes and ies second example saima knows about our plan here i am using saima and who is saima saima is a singular subject they play volleyball daily they is not a singular uh, subject they is a group of the people about whom i am talking they play volleyball daily so we play we will never put as es or is uh, my students focus on this point this is very important point we all know that uh, uh, we think that we uh, have uh, we are very good in the tenses we are very good in the present indefinite past indefinite and so on but when it it come to the application we make mistakes and at the end i will give you activity and then you will see that how we make mistakes even we know the concepts as well for example ahmed and shahid make cheers remember i have giving you the example ahmed and ali that when we use two names two group uh, group of people when we talk about we will never use ses or ies in the verb it revolves around the sun it's a universal fact example of negative negative he does not drink milk daily here i have used does not why according to rule number 2 when we use he she it and singular subject plus third person we will use does not second example ahmed does not attend meeting here i have used singular subject farya and shagufta farya and shagufta is the plural subject plural subject farya and shagufta don't use this method you don't follow teacher's instruction you is also the uh, is also uh, that word uh, with uh, we will use don't in interrogative these are the sentences now uh, uh, keep focusing that i have uh, told you about the interrogative and double interrogative does it work what will you answer yes or no not in no details required here does he drive a car yes it's a simple do you buy cosmetics no do they plan for picnic yes means you can answer in the single word either it's yes or no but in double interrogative what does it mean and i'm answering yes so don't you think it's irrelevant what does it mean means i uh, i require my answer in detail how does she plan her routine where do you go for classes why do they beat you you will answer in detail and these are the wh wh questions and keep in mind these structures if you have remembered this structures you can easily apply in the sentences now activity this is the important part from where we will learn only lectures are not important only uh, structures are not important when we when we do working we will learn more now activity is of 10 marks and uh, passing marks will be five uh, below five i will consider that you need more improvement so number one activity is speaking five marks and number two practice five marks in speaking you have to tell me your daily routine and we all know that when we talk about a daily routine which tense we will use of course present indefinite so i want in the audio Uh, you will tell your daily routine and your audio must be of 3 minutes less than 3 minutes i will not accept yes you can uh, extend 3 minutes to uh, 3.5 minutes but uh, not more than please not more than 3.5 minutes so and not less than 3 minutes so you have to tell me about your routine like if i talk about my routine i i wake up early in the morning then i offer namaz then i do breakfast i uh, read book then uh, i do some home chores home chores keep the word in mind home chores ghar ke kaam then i do home chores 
then uh, etc etc like you have to start from the morning and till the end when you come mm, come to your bed to for sleeping number two activity is a practice i will give you some sentences like i will make wrong sentences and you have to uh, check these all sentences and give me the uh, right sentences okay means uh, uh, you are my teacher and i am your student i have given you uh, some sentences which i have made wrong now you have to tell me that miss this is a wrong sentence the right sentence will be this and in this uh, expect your practice will be strong and you will know you, you will know that what mistakes you can make so uh, my students be ready for the activity thank you anything is uh, uh, here which make you confused you can message me you can send audio as well you can uh, talk to me personally so i am waiting for your feedback thank you so much